Hi there, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron. Let's try something. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. So you hide in shadows. This is nice. Uh, let's try something here. Um, Pickpocket failed. Ooh, not funny. Let's try again. Gone. Failed again. I'm gone. This time it worked. What did I get? Uh, nothing of importance actually. Um, a web spell. I thought I could get Step something right better. Step right up. No. I've done had enough of this. This is what I wanted. Ring of Reaction. The wearer is immune to everything, magical or otherwise. That affects mobility in any way, although can uh, although can still be hasted. Be aware, however, this will also protect the wearer from beneficial effects, uh, such as those revealed from the Boots of Speed. This means if I would use it now, I would not be able... Uh, which one is the Ring of Protection? That's the Ring of Protection. Then I would no longer be hasted. What would you ha all right, all right. I, I think I'm still faster. Yes? Um, I was ex actually experimenting right now. I don't want you to talk to me. <laughs> Stupid. I know of you. You are an odd countenance, and I can count pretty darn high, too. I have need of you. What do you say to this? Who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. Introduce yourself, and we shall see if I can help you. I am Shandala, and I am the, I'm the default benefactor in this place. My home is here, as are my major interests. I take interest in whoever comes this way, and you're very interesting indeed. I should like you to perform a task for me, a small thing, really. But something I do not have time for myself. I need you to go to another place and retrieve an item of mine. Very simple. A fetch quest or what? Very simple. And if you succeed, I will think all the better of you. What say you to this? I don't give a rat's ass about what you think. <sighs> Why do you need me for this task when you seem so more capable? I have other things uh, that call my attention. So it is more convenient that you go. Besides, I know you... Not that this serves as a good measure uh, of you. Alright, I know that you are more interested in the why and not so much the profit. Will you do this? Not right now, any time to prepare. T do not take long, this task needs attention soon. So, wait a second. So, I'm still somewhat faster, I guess, than the average guy. But if I take that off... I think it doesn't make a difference. Oh, it, it does make a difference. I think now I'm faster. Uh, can I help you? I can, but try. Step right up! Step right up! Your wish? Very well. No, uh, no, 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 no. Step I think right the boots made Step me faster. Right up. I Step can, right but up. try. Step right up! Okay. This will also protect the wearer from beneficial effects just of those received from the boots of speed. Those are boots of speed. Hurry up! Step right up! Step right up! Okay, now it works. Uh, it protects me from the effect. And now? Uh, that's weird. Now I'm fast again. Hmm. Okay. So this is a very nice thing, the ring of free action. But obviously I can't have both. Good. Then I guess you take it. 
What would you have me do? Your wish? So where are we? Very well. Fuck it. So I was I was not in here yet, was I? Who are you by the way? Oh I was in here, it's the What are you bothering me for? Quiet. Hurry up! If you It's the inn. Who else is running around here? Ike, commoner, commoner. All right, all right. Olgoth boy. There's another house. Oh, again. Yes, as you wish. What would you have me if you insist? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I've done had enough of this. <coughs> I can, but try. Let me guess, there's nothing here, right? Right. What you want? I've done had enough of this. So, we will take a look at uh, things here again. Nothing. Nothing. History of the bell in the depth. It's locked. Nothing. You can keep your three gold coins. Your wish? You're just common, alright? No, it's Therella. She has a name. If none are better, what do you want? I. Hurry up! Let's say hi to her then. What's your taste? Greetings, adventurers. You must excuse me if I've nary a happy word to share this day. There has been a loss in the family, you see. Uh, very not, lady. Is there anything that we could do to help? Unless you uh, wish to search for an errant son, then no. Tell us the tale and we might be able to help. I have, or perhaps I should say had, a son named Dalton. He fell in with a crew of adventurers from Waterdeep. Dalton was always obsessed with the idea of being a hero. Alas, he has neither the brains nor the ability. Such is a mother's lot in life, however. To watch her children before acts of idiocy despite her warnings or concerns. My poor boy took those acts of idiocy to the extreme. He and his thick-skulled cohorts took it upon themselves to plumb the depths of Durak's tower. They bought a ward token from the Chyster Gelkin and made ready to leave. Though I begged and cried, Dalton still insisted on going. The band never returned, I fear that they were destroyed by the Mad Dwarf's machinations. That is the tale, sad but true. Rest easy, woman. We will find your son if he still lives. Thank you so much. Such kindness from strangers is unheard of in this harsh life. I will await Dalton's return with breathless anticipation. And we have yet another quest. Can we go down there? No. Okay, what would you everybody, have do? leave. So that's the mage, I guess. Yep. You insist. Is there a shop in here? I have lots of money. I could buy things. If we would sell. No, I'm not looking. Okay. There's another house here. Who are you? Come on. Yeah, it's not working because the bloody commoner is blocking the way. I guess we have to charm somebody again. Not necessary. Oh no, he's chomped. Okay. Now, a new face in town, eh? Yep. I don't know. Oh, wait. All right, all right. Ah, fuck. Now, a new face in town, eh? What would you have me do? All right, all right. What is your command? If Tempus wills it. I will it. What the fuck is going on here? Very well. I care not. I'm gone. You're not opening the bloody door? Oh no, it's already opened. Oops. Hurry up! All right, all right. Ah. Very well. What do we have here? Maybe this is a shop. 
Maybe there's nobody in here. Then it's no shop. Nothing. Hello, thy Vulcor's mighty blade. No. What would you have me no. do? You insist. You're very well. What's that? <coughs> yes, yes, I oh, 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 this is a false door behind is a solid behind it is solid rock. Solid Solid as a rock du, du, du. No, well. Maybe some things will change when we return later. Looking for a rock though, and uh, not for a rock, for a shop though. Come on, there's another door. And you are Fenris. Away Who is Fenris? with you, beggar! A pleasant day to you all. My name is Fenris Bula, and I'm honored to have you speak with me. How may I be of assistance? I'm pleased to meet you. Have you gone to the tour of Dorax Tower? Indeed I have. It was a wonderful tour, although somewhat steep in price. Why do you ask? Perhaps you are entertaining thoughts of following in my footsteps? I thought you, uh, that you might find the time to share some of your knowledge of the tower and the tour. The tale of that ill-fated tower is a fascinating one. Durlak Trollkiller, a great dwarven hero, built the tower. Over a long and successful career, Durlak amassed the great hoard of treasure. Rumors spoke of rooms full of gems and a great hall soon with dusty heaps, heaps of gold coins. With the aid of hired dwarves, Durlak dug many chambers and passages in the tower and raised the lone tower above it. Uh, planning it as a seat where he could found a dwarven community and grow old in peace, surrounded by happy, prosperous kin. Instead, doppelgangers organized and aided by fool, foul mind flayers slew and impersonated Durlak's companions. After the shocked dwarf discovered the first impersonation, he was attacked by all the others and spent a terror-filled ten days frantically fighting through his own fortress, chased by monsters who were wore familiar forms but sought his death. In the end, alone and victorious, he was powerless to stop the fleeing Iltids, fearful they'd returned. Dorlak hired the finest craftsfolk he could find and began rebuilding his tower, and the tower beneath as an elabor elaborate succession of traps, magical walls and secret passages, sliding prison chambers and triggering triggered weapons. For several centuries things went on like this, as the increasingly eccentric Durek lived on Fungi and, it is cruelly whispered, the bodies of intruders. At length he died, presumably his bones still lie in the, some inner room, guarded by thousands of deadly traps. After having seen the first few rooms of the tower myself, I can say that it must be as dangerous as the legends portended. It is a fascinating place to visit and I strongly recommend that you take a tour. I must be off now, for a while and enjoy the tour. Okay, well, get in there. I must be speaking to you. Listen, Mendes. Oh, hello, friends. It's a pleasure meeting you. You are heroes from Sword Coast. I am um, long way to meet you. I am Mendes of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is, I am in need of favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. Can you help a gentle fellow in search of for knowledge? No knowledge is a worthy pursuit, my friend. I will help if I can. Tragic things are happening in this unfair, ooh, 
how you say uh, world. The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things uh, that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if those men were not born. This merchant league, these bad men, they find uh, the island to the west. The island has a broken ship and a shipwreck, very old shipwreck, they say. Uh, please go on. Oh, how did the merchant league discover the island? They probably shipwrecked there too, no. They sail uh, to the new world and big storm blew them north. The sailors can't control boat and it almost crashed on island rocks. It is very stormy, but they can't see the old wrecked ship. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, they come back to Baldur's Gate and uh, sell sea charts to Merchant's League. A pox upon them. Why is the Merchant's League interested in an island in the middle of nowhere? Where does it boast? What does it boast beside dangerous shorts and a rotting ship? Uh, these merchant men are greedy and they want island and ship. May their bones rot in nine hells. The merchants want treasures from the new world. The trackless sea is very wide, so merchant league ships must stop for supplies. They would stop at Evermead, but Elf Place is north. Too much. Uh, only place to stop is Sundrath of Latan, Lenten, but fees are very expensive. Merchant men lose money too much in Sundra. Uh, the merchant sailors see more than shipwreck on island. They see big harbor also. They want to turn this harbor into a new stop for ships from Waterdeep or Baldur's Gate. What about the shipwreck? The merchant uh, league sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero, the Baldurans. Ah, uh, the shipwreck hero is Baldurans. Oh no, the shipwreck hero is Baldurans. It was Baldurans ship. Okay. These men, they think uh, that Baldwin had much uh, treasure on his final voyage. Maybe it's true, but the ship also has many artifacts. They, uh, these things hold knowledge of Baldwin's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve the mystery of what's wrong with his... Where does he come from? What's wrong with his, with his uh, grammar? I will solve the mystery of Baldwin's final voyage. Merchant League will the Merchant League will destroy my artifacts to get the treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I will get uh, things precious to me and you get treasure. And the merchant men get nothing. Will you help me? Uh, not right now. Thank you. What do you have here? Would you call the police if I take if a look insist. at your belongings? It's freaking locked. What would you have me if you insist? What you want? This way. Oh, cool, lots of money. Um, there's nothing in here. And nothing in here. Okay, get the hell out of here then. <sighs> and another one approaches us. Holy moly, all the mates, Callahan, I be a score of the fish in the seven seas. I ain't seen you before. New Year Beam? Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Indeed, this is my first visit to lovely Algarsburg, situated in the lovely Salt Coast, a short carriage ride from downtown Baldur's Gate. A silver tongue you have. The bird's lovely as a mule's ass and it smells like a ten day fish. Welcome all. May the fleas be kind and the ladies kinder. Thank you, good sir. There's nothing. You look like a mad floundered mate. Can I be of assistance? <sighs> Why, well, you can. Know you Mandas of Waterdeep? Mandas, eh? He's a grim sort. Never kind word or. Uh, what? Oh, your auntie? How is your auntie? Oh, damn you. Speak English, man. I assume you know him. Perhaps you could share your perceptions of the fellow? I know him for as long as I've been in the bird, but I remember better with some uh, little gold in my palm. Okay, will 20 gold suffice? It will. Go ahead then. We lost 20. Okay, Mendes came to the bird this season's past. 
bought all seven since plays he did he claimed to be from Waterdeep but I know known fellas from the city of Splendors and they can't speak the common tongue as good as I done as well as I do you mean okay so he's the guy who's not from Waterdeep nay better wherever he's from Menders uh, he doesn't mix with the common folk he keeps into in his own house for most of the part. He leaves for a few days every month. That's all that he knows. Okay. So he's probably not from Waterdeep, right? I have waited long for such as you. Okay, but still. Wait, we already had that conversation. Perhaps later. Okay, we already had that conversation, thank you. And, uh, you know, we, you can't uh, tell him anything about his, the way he speaks. Would you be so kind and use the bloody door? That would be awesome. So, still didn't find any shops yet? What's going on here? Okay. Who the hell are you? Come on now. Oh, that's the end actually of the road. Fine, fine, fine. What? Dells? Wirf Tenyon. Okay. Who are you? Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I Likely do. not, but I can help you. Please be quick as I close forever tonight. I do. Good merchant, what is your worry? You seem troubled. We finally found a merchant. Yay, you all nice, nice now, but not no gold, right? Uh, same all day, every day. This the same all day, every day, night too sometimes. Nice, nice people come, look and look and say nice, nice and leave. I lose patience for the nice to look at pretty to hold but don't buy a suffering thing. You here to buy or you just say nice and leave? Uh, what do you have? Uh, I'm here to sell uh, the small and Chinese for the tourists in the Durlax Tower. But there are none now here. Bandits on the road keep the people off, and anyway, so I'm stuck with the stock. Wild tokens, I have all of shapes of size, blah 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 blah. Yeah, take it. Okay, what did we get? We couldn't carry all of it. Could we? Oh, there's. No. What did we drop on the ground? Hurry up! There, yeah, what's that? That is a onyx ring, we don't really need that. But we got a few uh, ward stones, but we can't identify them. Oh wait a second, I think that we have a few identification spells now. Rather generic looking dwarven rune words though, and this could have any number of uses. And I'm out of spells again. Okay. What would you have me do? Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Okay, he doesn't have anything else. But you don't have a regular shop, just that guy here? Who are you? Come on now. Boy, come on now, come on now. There's another house. It's locked. Yep. Then unlock I've it. Done had enough of this. Your 
wish. All right, all right. All right, all right. Oh, will they call the gods again? Hurry up! All right, all right. Nothing. It's locked. Hey, hey! I care not. This way. Um, what's that? History of M. Nobody needs that. Chain mail and just a regular long sword. What would you have me do? Very well. Few gold coins. Nothing spectacular. So, okay, I guess we explored all of it. Um, Your wish? That's rather weird. If you insist. So they don't really have a shop in here. Soon to go back to the grotto, I am. Oh, I come to Aldasha, you do. Uh, come to drink of me gnomish knowledge. Now she talks to you. Okay. Uh, yes, your fame has spread far and wide that adventurers such as ourselves could not pass through Algot's bed without stopping to see you. A charmer be a bee. Uh, even in me younger days I never believed that I held fame beyond the bed. I know that you follow Baldurin's path to far Anchorum. This is easy to discover for an old woman that knows to heed the whispering stones. Uh, what other knowledge do you hold? Um, you walk quite blindly into this adventure. I know something of Baldurin's story and will share it with you. I require only a bit of gold for my research expenses. Of course, will, fi will 50 gold pieces do it? Nay, you must be better than that. A hundred? Yeah, okay, hundred is okay. It will that uh, it will at that listen then and learn. As you may know Baldur's Baldur's Gate was named for the legendary seafaring explorer Baldurun, who long ago sailed past Evermeet in search for the rich fabled Isles of Anchorum. Baldurun returned with tales of strange lost lands across the seas. He also brought back much wealth and scattered about his sparsely settled home harbor. So Baldur's Gate was born. Um he then set sail again for the wondrous lands he had found. Baldur never returned. Some say he sailed still, finding new lands in the endless reaches uh, of the far sea, or even that he sailed off the world and fares now among the stars. Others, mi no, that would be Spelljammer, a different kind of game actually. Others whispered that he met with misfortune and perished in the deeps, but still others believed uh, that he lived to a ripe old age in his newfound home. Perhaps you will discover his fate on this island that you sail to. Perhaps not. Regardless, I wish you well on your journey and may say no more. Okay. So, but we still need... Um, I want to buy a few more sling stones uh, before we uh, go anywhere. And, but sadly, there seems to be no shop in here. Uh, that's, that's really sad. But then again, who needs a shop? We, we could also go to the friendly arm anytime we wanted. What's that? Come on. So I guess we were in here already, yep. And that's the end, we can't go much further, I guess. Oh, we can actually, okay. Okay. What might we find down here? So we could go to Friendly Arm Inn and sell some things there and buy a few sling stones.
a chicken. Bark, 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 bark. Okay, that's probably the end. At least, or oh, maybe we could what go somewhere here. You insist. <laughs> You're a queer you you uh, Can I help you? Um, nim, 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 nim. You should form up here. I'll do my best. Your wish. Damn, I'm fast. What if might we insist. find here? Uh, the tower has long been deserted. There's nothing but rubble within. Okay. Interesting. What might we find here? Oh, this is another dead end? Okay. So that's pretty much all of the city of Igor's bird. Oh, more of a village. Oh, there's a barrel actually. What might we find in there? Nothing. Quiet. Who are you? Just a couple. Okay. So, I tell you something. I will pause the video here and between videos I will return to a pretty friendly arm in and buy a few more slingstone and sell some items that I no longer need here. Those weapons and the cloak and a few of those uh, jewels here. And then I will return to uh, your thingy, the village, Ooh, and we gone. will continue up, with the game. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.